Hello. Hi. Hey, how does this sound? Oh, we're better now. How are you, how are you all doing? We're doing good. You're doing good? <laughs> yes we're all we're all set we're ready uh, okay. excited all yeah. right okay <laughs> since um you all started the video i'll actually do the intro like i normally do and then we'll get started with the questions okay all right great okay all right so everyone welcome to the front row the front row is an online segment that we do with burst into books which is our not-for-profit here in chicago um the front row is an opportunity for us to interview artists and authors and people who are connected to the literary world and um for the last couple of months we've been interviewing such an array of different people and so i'm super excited for today to be able to interview nicholas um today i'm actually going to do the interview along with my son who was seven years old as well because he was excited about this interview and so you'll meet him in a second however i wanted to just explain how the world goes since it is a facebook live facebook live is because not only are people able to watch from all over if they're not in the same city as us, but also you can always go back and watch it. And at the bottom, where there's comments, you can ask questions or give feedback or have comments you want to add to the conversation as well. So I'm excited. We have questions already prepared. But again, if you want to ask anything of myself or Nicholas, go ahead and put that below and we're going to go ahead and get started. So before we get started, I am Jerima Nicholas. And this is my son, Trey. Say hi. My name is James, actually. <laughs> James is his name. <laughs> <laughs> and he's super excited to meet you, Nicholas, because he's like, he's seven. Oh, my gosh, I'm 17. I want to be a part of this. Who so, uh, Trey, <laughs> Trey, baby, we already talked. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So my first question for you, Nicholas, is just simply tell us why did you write your book? Because one day I was at school and I asked to collaborate. So my teacher sent my mom. The highlight of my day was when Nicola, Nicholas asked to collaborate. So when I came home, my mom asked me, do I want to write a book? And I said, yes. You told me, you said, so were you excited to write a book? Like, were you like, oh, yeah, mom, I want to do this? I was excited. You were excited? So what would you say um, in writing the book, like what was something that was hard to do? Like it's one thing for your mom to say, hey, you want to write a book? But then actually doing it can be a little difficult. So what was one of the hardest things to do with writing your book? Well, it was our first time writing the book. So we had to research it a lot. And yeah. That was like an obstacle for the book. Wow. So you have, I mean, for writing the book. So you're having to do the research. What did you have to research? You have to research how, like, how, how to do the book okay. and, like, what we're going to do to, oh. like, start writing the book. Okay. And how long did it take you to write your book? Over a year. Over a year? It was the first time I <laughs> wow so this took a lot of patience to write your book huh yeah yes. so um i'm excited because also i want you to know a little bit about what's going on in our household so my son trey loves to read and we actually in the in the car this morning we're talking about it and he's like mom i wrote i wrote some stories at school as well i'm like wow that's really cool so um, he wants to also publish a book one day. And so that was one of the questions that he actually asked me was like, how long did it take him? Because he wanted to um, write his own bush book as well. So I want you to know that you writing your book is inspiring and encouraging other little kids to want to write their books as well. So how does that make you feel? Well, it, it makes me feel like I'm it makes you feel really good. Okay, <laughs> I saw her question. We'll get to it. Um, I'm sorry, what did you say, Nicholas? It makes me feel really good and proud You of should myself. be very proud of yourself. Um, <laughs> he's in the camera. 
Um, we kind of are going to take turns with this interview question. So, Trey, you want to ask him <laughs> one of your questions? Um, what's your favorite snack? <laughs> I don't really I don't really have a favorite snack. Probably like a pear or something like that. Ooh, pears. Okay, my turn now. <laughs> um my next question for you was, um, and someone did write this below, like how did you get your book in the Library of Congress? But what was your reaction? Like, did you even know what that meant? That your book is in the Library of Congress? Like, what was your reaction when it happened? Because it was cataloged, I was so, 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 so excited. <laughs> you were so excited? <laughs> so how did, how did you get, how did that happen? How did your book make it to the Library of Congress? It made it to the Library of Congress in Congress. Or do you, are you, Mom, <laughs> you can chime in as well. Do you know, like, how did his book end up in the Library of Congress? Well, basically, like he just said, as far as it was cataloged in the Library of Congress, and what most people don't know is that all books can be cataloged in the Library of Congress. You just have to take the time to do all the research and pay all the fees and everything else and just make sure that you follow the guidelines. And you can have your book in a cat and cataloged in the Library of Congress. Oh, that's very cool to know. But So you were very excited to figure out, find out that your first book made it to the Library of Congress, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You want to ask a question? Okay. <laughs> he, he wants to ask his second question. <laughs> um, my second okay. question is, what is your favorite subject in school and why? My favorite subject in school is math. And why is because I just love dealing with numbers. <laughs> and the second question was... <laughs> He's taking over my <laughs> Um It's okay. And what is your favorite school? What is your favorite school? What, is that a question you wrote down? You said, what is your favorite subject, subject in, in school? school and right, he just told you math. Math is his favorite, favorite, favorite subject in school. Math is it in school. It is in school. You do math at school, don't you? I said... What is his favorite school? Oh, what's the name of his school? Is that what your question is? No, it's like, what's his favorite school? Probably his school. What's the name? Okay, it's Nicholas. What's your favorite what's your school? Favorite school? What's, you get what's the name of your school, answer? honey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, my favorite school would be probably Trinity Prep School. Oh, is that the name of your school? Yes. Yeah, so Trinity Prep School is his favorite school. Good now? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Um, <laughs> my next question for you, Nicholas, is why do you believe reading is important? Because the more words you know, the better you can express yourself. Very true. Very true. So what helped you learn <laughs> like to to build your vocabulary? Is it just because you read a lot or do you just love like looking up words? Like what helped you to expand your vocabulary? I like to read and I love looking up words. Very cool. Um, I didn't get any props from mommy too, right? Mommy helped too, right? <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, she helped too, I guess. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little just bit. A little bit. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's wonderful. Um, I'll give you a chance. You want to say one of yours? My third question <laughs> is, what do you want to be when you grow up and why? Oh. I'm a chemist. I'm a chemical engineer. And because they invent stuff. Oh, wow. What would you want to invent? Like, if you could invent anything, what would you invent? A new, really fast car that's never been invented. Very cool. Very cool. Mama. What do you want to be when you grow up, Shai? I want to be, uh, I don't really know yet, but, um. It's okay. What I really want to be, um, when I grow up, uh, is... I want to be 
A lifeguard. A lifeguard? Well, so you like to save lives. Okay. And he's really he he's really into fun. swimming. So anything I think with water is attractive wow. to him right now. Okay. <laughs> you hear that? He wants to be a lifeguard. He wants to save lives. So, mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, my next question for you is, what do you like to do for fun? I like to play chess, board games, go, go outside and practice basketball sometimes, or play my Xbox. <laughs> oh, wow. What kind of Xbox games do you play? 2K19, Mortal Kombat, <laughs> um, some kind of adventure game. And some kind of soccer game. Oh. FIFA. And which Xbox game is it? Because there's a lot of Xboxes. Is it an <laughs> Xbox 360, an Xbox One? I got. A, I I have an Xbox One. Oh, My dad has one too, but I have a 360. And my dad. Um, I would not. I would not necessarily say he stole it, but um, <laughs> he, he borrowed it from someone. Okay, he didn't borrow it. He kept it. Um, <laughs> and it was from, and it was from my cousin. My cousin uh, had an Xbox. Okay. Well, when you can't steal things from family members, right, we're, we're family all, members, you we're can't all take things. Right? Yeah, we're all <laughs> basically, he got it from right. his cousins upstairs, and he never gave it back. Okay. <laughs> so okay. He just extended, okay. Extended borrowing. Okay. Um, this yes. Is, this is my very first time ever doing this with my sons. It's pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, my next question, my next question for you, Nicholas, is, is if you were to write another book, what would you want that book to focus on? Um, teaching kids, um, teaching kids vocabulary like this book, but like different words. Oh, I got it. You're Yes, because actually he's in the process of writing his second book because Kayla and Cal, The Walking Dictionaries is a series. It will be a series of books. So he's in the process of creating and writing his second book for the series. Oh, wow. That is really exciting. So when do you <laughs> think your second book will be ready? Well, we're working hard on it now. So um, he wants it to be ready now, but <laughs> um, it takes a little time. <laughs> Oh, sure. So, so, but actually, we're looking for probably um sometime in the summer, oh. sometime in the summer. Oh, uh, and mm -hmm. I wrote three books so far, but um two of them are um really? short, and the other one is longer. The first book, really, the first book I ever um wrote was for was about uh wrestling because I'm really into that. I don't know why I'm violent, but I attack <laughs> my cousins sometimes uh, for no reason. Okay, you're done. Next question. <laughs> uh, but you need to go ahead and publish those books, though, Trey. Oh if, you, if you've written books, you need to publish those books, honey. You can do it also. You so you can get them published. But Thanks. my teacher um took the book. So I can't really find it. Okay. You can get it back. We'll okay. get it back. All right. Around the last <laughs> school. Oh. When I tell you to stop, you need to stop, baby. Thank you. Next question. I'm <laughs> oh, Nicholas, you see all of our okay. little household over here. Uh <laughs> <laughs> we we me and Nicholas were the same <laughs> way, so <laughs> We rehearsed this and everything. We rehearsed it. It is now just going all array. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So that's cute. Um, my next question for you, Nick, this is really simple is how has it, and I forgot to write this, like how has it been like now, like even now me interviewing you, like how are you used to it? Like people want to meet you and have you come to like book fairs and all of that. Like 
how does that make you feel? Like, are you used to it yet? Are you a little nervous when you do it? Like, how are you feeling about everything? Well, sometimes I'm just a little bit nervous, and sometimes I'm used to it. Sometimes you're used to it. Um, and then, Mom, how does it make you feel to have your son who I know you, he came home and saying, you know, and the teacher shared with you what, what he did in school, but, like, did you expect this to be what it is now? And, like, are you excited about, like, what's to come for him? You know, I'm very, and I guess you're asking me a question. I probably need to get yeah, on camera yeah, again. Let's, um, see, let's see the mother. <laughs> I don't need to get on camera. <laughs> Well, um, well, basically, I mean, I was excited about it. Um, what we did was we pretty much we wrote a book and we just said, you know, Nicholas wanted to write a book. So we put it out there and I didn't expect the excitement and the the uh, basically the snowball that came out of it. Because, um, of course, last month, Whoopi Goldberg, yeah, honored I saw him on her show the view, which was very exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. And then he's been in um, Ebony Magazine. They did um, publish him online, um, News One, um, Face to Face Africa, uh, several others, several others, uh, the Atlanta Voice. So um, he's just been viral online. It's been very exciting. I'm very proud of him. Very proud I'm of sure. him. So. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited for you as well. Um, yeah. Nicholas, I just wanted to say that one of my best friends is the reason that I even learned about you and what you're doing. Um, she's always tagging like people who are doing amazing things. And when I saw that you wrote this book and that it is just like going crazy. And even I heard you in Chicago last month. I didn't get to meet you when you were here because we're in Chicago. Um, but <laughs> I know people who, yes. people who met you at the book fair. I was like, oh, I'm so excited that you're going to interview him. So I just want you to know um this is a part of what i'm doing here in chicago just like really trying to help children to understand that reading is important and reading is something that is a life skill and also that it's fun and that if you don't see a book out there that is interesting to you then you need to write it yourself and so i'm excited to just see that that's what you're doing um i think that it is admirable to see someone of your age write a book about vocabulary because even as you're talking you're so articulate and i'm so impressed by just the way you're able to just carry even this conversation. So my encouragement to you, just like your mom is very proud of you, I am very proud of you as well. Um, because seeing young men like you motivates my young man who's over here having a little fit because I told him to calm down. But still, <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> about what you're doing because the kids that I work with every every week and every month, I can encourage them to just show them people like you. And so Please keep up the good work. And I am just honored that I'm a part to be at the beginning because this is just the beginning of your journey. I'm sure that as you continue, I'm like, I remember him when he was seven. Now look at him. He won the Nobel, <laughs> right, the Nobel right. Peace Prize for writing. So that is really, really, really cool. Right. So, um, and kudos to you. Yeah. Let me just yeah. add. Oh, well, let me just add, though, too, that um, next month, Nicholas will be in Delaware, Wilmington, Delaware. He's doing an appearance at um, the Delaware Library. So uh, the Wilmington Public Library. Okay. So if there's anyone in the area that wants to come out and see him, they can go onto their website, find out the date. It's actually, it's on the 16th. Um, I believe it's the 16th of April. So they can come out and meet Nicholas. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was definitely, that was going to be my next thing. So just what are some upcoming things? So you say you'll be in Delaware next month? Yes. Delaware next month and then if people want to purchase um your videos I've been doing a little research on you as well you said you did research I know you were trying to campaign to have your book in like schools all over the country so if people want to um buy your book or find out more about your book where can they go to get your book they can go on Barnes and Noble and Amazon or straight through our website our website is motherhubbard.us. No, no. Just motherhubbard.us. Yeah, motherhubbard.us. Mother. And then tell them your Twitter and your Instagram handle. My Twitter, my Instagram um, is Nic Nicholas Buama. N I C H O L A S B U A M A H. Oh, you just warm my heart, Nicholas. You're just so fresh. Oh, my God.
<laughs> so thank you so much um for your time nicholas um again i hope to see you um if we don't come to the um are you all in atlanta we're in atlanta yes we're in atlanta mm -hmm. so if i ever make it to atlanta or if you ever come back in chicago i would love to meet you and be able to um even you could be a part of some of the great things we're doing here in chicago but even if we visit in atlanta I will look you up to see what you are doing in Atlanta as well. Well, to let you know, to touch bases on the Chicago, um, actually, he just, Bellwood Library, actually just put some of the, his books inside of their library, and they're trying to um, schedule a date for him to come back to oh, Bellwood, yeah. which is in Chicago. That's not far. Uh, yes. So they... Yeah, so they want him to come back up to do an appearance. So we're actually setting that up right now. So you will be the first one to know once we schedule a date. Thank you. And Nicholas, my son, is just enthralled with you. He wants to show you one last thing before we get off. So he, let, me, let me have him show you this to you. Hold so this is something <laughs> I got from Hollywood Park. You can make shapes inside of it. So if you put it up and then you put your finger through, It'll make this. Oh, those are cool. I know what that is. Those are cool. So, so he's trying to see it again. Do it again. So, so like if you poke through, the shape will come on on the other side. You see it? I'll show you what it is. We'll get one. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. So maybe, so maybe when you come to Chicago too, we could do some fun. Like, have you ever been to Hollywood Park? No. You will, we'll have to go there. It's like an indoor um, game room. They have go karts and all kind of cool stuff. So he he loves that kind of stuff. Can I show you something else? Oh, he loves. Oh, and he's gonna show you one last. Okay. He put his face to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, cool. Well, thank you so much. I'm not going to hold you up, um, but it was, it's was it been a pleasure. I hope that we see it, Trey. Thank you. You did a great job. <laughs> it's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, <laughs> we are going to purchase your book as well. I have not gotten it yet, but it will be purchased. I actually also want to make it a part of, because um, we do monthly book club readings, and so I want to make it a part of what we're doing there as well. So, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have a, re a great rest of your Saturday. Okay, and thank you, Mom, for setting us up with us. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So. All right, well, we will be in touch. It was a pleasure. We will be in touch. Yes, and we will chat soon. And thank you, Trey. Said, thank you, Trey. <laughs> all right, you all take care. <laughs> Okay, okay, you too. Bye-bye. Um, Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.